So no matter where you guys are, I think you would agree that summer hit us quick this year and it hit us without mercy. It is hot. It is so hot I can't take it anymore. So in this video, I devised a way to not only beat the heat, but I did it on a budget. Welcome back to the garage guys. If you watched our last video, you may have saw we had a little bit of a thermal issue with the big block lightning. Now that we've got all that resolved, we've got a little bit of a thermal issue here in the garage. So we've actually, it's getting hot. It's in the mid to upper 90s every day now. And I gotta tell you, Dickie's dying. It's getting hot and I don't wanna have a stroke. So I have a plan to resolve it. But first, let me show you how bad it is. Right now it's not horrible, but as you can see by this infrared gun, it's about 90 degrees on the quarter panel of Project Ethel. But if we shoot the ceiling... Guys, that's real close to 130 degrees on that roof. No insulation at all. So that's the plywood just under the shingles. And guys, that's just heat I don't need in the garage. So I've got a plan to take care of it. it maybe. So this is all theoretical, but check out what I've got. All right, so here is what I have. We have some uh, R-Max insulation. We've got three sheets of it so far. We're gonna try to hang this on the ceiling in between that area and try to get ourselves an air gap to block some of that hot air. I'm by myself today, so this might be entertaining to watch, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get those first three sheets hung up. So I've taken some stuff down off the roof and I've made room. I've decided to start right here and come out and then work my way across the garage. Now I've run into my first hurdle already is I've got a light in the way. So I gotta figure out what to do there. I think I'm gonna drop the light down, put the board up and then put the light back on top of the insulation board. We'll see if that works. Oh, here's the board I've got so you guys can see it a little better. It is R Max Arm 8 Plus 3. I think this thing has an R factor of five. They're about 20 bucks a sheet. If it does what I think they're gonna do, it's gonna be worth every penny of it. So I popped the cover off this light and look at what I found. It, it looks like a dirt dauber, but I don't see the hole. So how do they get in and out? It's gotta be what it is. Either way, I wanna carefully take this outside and shake it off. So a person might say this is gonna be impossible for me to hang this eight foot sheet up here by myself with a bad shoulder, but I've got a plan. What I have done is built myself a special tool, which I believe is going to make this much, much, much easier. My special tool is out of calibration. So essentially what I did is I put some two and a half inch screws in the wall there, and then I took the wife's garden rake constructed this elaborate special tool here to hold this end of the styrofoam up or not styrofoam it's uh it's like a closed cell polyurethane it's, it's weird but it's not styrofoam so what do you think it's uh it's there i gotta put some kind of fasteners in it and uh see if i can get piece number two up guys you are not gonna believe the difference this makes already so i can literally walk under it and I can feel like that heat off the top of my head. Incredible difference. And I've got two pieces up. And not only just do I feel the difference, I can measure the difference. Check this out. It's 93 degrees on the underside. Not cool, but not the hottest thing ever. Let's look above it. 133 degrees. All right, so I've got the first three pieces installed, and let me tell you, it is amazing the difference it makes. Guys, if you were thinking about doing this, if you were on the fence about doing this, you gotta do this, because it's incredible. I literally can walk under it, and I can feel the temperature on the top of my head change, which is incredible. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Imagine what a little air conditioning could do in here. So I just got back from the hardware store. I've got eight more sheets in the back of the truck, and I put up a new light so we can actually see what we're doing now. I do need to uh, clean some of this stuff off the ceiling here so that I can make a little room to put that up there, but it shouldn't be too bad. I think the wife's gonna be home a little bit early, so she may give me a hand. So I'm gonna put this thing on time-lapse and get it knocked out.
So we're down to the last piece right here. And I saved the hardest piece for last because it's got to go around all that trunk line and all this crap here. So it's going to take a couple of minutes, but that's it. I mean, what do you guys think? Looks pretty good, right? I can already tell you it feels better. Normally I feel the heat from the evening sun on the roof. None of that right now. So we've definitely improved the garage situation. Now, if we only had an air conditioner, That's what I'm talking about. That is a Kenmore Elite 10,000 BTU window unit. It is doing the trick. Let me tell you guys, it is about, I don't know, 75 degrees in here right now. That thing's running full tilt. It's doing a really good job keeping up. And I think you guys can still hear me. I don't know. It doesn't seem that loud to me, at least right now. I'll know when I go to edit this video, but guys, that is exactly what I needed. And the crazy thing is the coolest part is actually on my phone. I didn't know it, but air conditioners are smart. This thing has an app so that I can control it from anywhere. I can say, hey, you know, I'm going to come home today about 3 o'clock and work in the garage. All I got to do is look at the phone, say, well, it's a little hot in the garage. Let me turn that down a little bit. Completely controlled with my phone. So that may be the coolest thing that I, I wasn't expecting. So full project, this whole thing cost me just over about 450 So I'm somewhere in that ballpark. I think I spent about... 200 maybe a little under for the ceiling insulation which was worth every penny of it and i scored this ac unit from amazon warehouse with some dents and scratches for like 260 so you really can't beat it so i'm less than 500 bucks and i don't feel like i'm gonna have a heat stroke so let me know what you think guys was that a deal or what so uh next video i am gonna break into the rest of this corvette engine see what's inside of it also, SVT Kevin may or may not have a project coming for that truck. I got to talk to him, see where the parts are. But we've got all kinds of stuff coming, and we got an air conditioned garage to do it in. But we're going to end this video off right there. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>